Hey, what's up you guys? Sideswipe Corvids here, back for another video review, this time of Sidearm Sideswipe. The viewer requests from a few people. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Um, the vehicle mode is really nice, it looks accurate to the movies. Except for this red part here, I don't really understand that. Um, but the red tinting is kind of cool, um, I kind of like that. Yeah. And, um... Since this is technically, um, well, it's side on side swipe, so you know what's coming up next. The half assed weaponized mode, which is just. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Ooh, that looks really menacing. I mean, seriously, what kind of weaponized mode is this? Just sticking two pea shooters on a car. Not gonna be tough against many Decepticons. Stop right there, dirty Decepticon. Oh no, I'm being attacked by a little pea shooter tank thingy. Oh yeah? Well, take this. Are you taking it? Not really. Am I firing anything? Not really. Is this having any effect? I'm a little bit annoyed. <clears throat> well, that's something. Ugh, these Autobots are getting dumber and dumber every day. But I digress. Anyway, to get into robot mode, um... You know, to make it easier, I'm just gonna take these guns off. Trust me, you might need them. Um, I recommend you start with removing the doors and then remove the arms here. And uh, then they'll, they'll release the legs, which I think is kind of a cool transformation mechanic. It uh, kind of works like uh, animated lockdown. <coughs> so yeah, after that you want to um, spin this piece of... Hold on. You want to make sure this is like stuck in standard vehicle mode. And then just turn this around. Um, then you want to flip the chest around until it tabs in there, because there's a, a couple of slots there. Hold on, it should tab in, hold on. Yep, there it is. Um, and you just want to flip this down, flip this whole part down. The panels, you can do whatever the hell you want with them, we'll just put them here for now. Then you just uh, kind of do this with the arms. And you want to grab them by the top and then just flip it out. Oh, never mind, the panel already flipped out for me. Awesome. Um, then once you have everything configured and put the guns in his arm. Huh. And there is Sidearm Sideswipe. I have to say, it's a pretty cool robot mode. There's just a couple of things that really don't make a lot of sense to me, like... For instance, the arms. They make him look like a T-Rex without the guns there. All because he has the lanky legs. Hmm. Anyway, the guns can be configured in two ways. Either this, kind of like a pistol or a shotgun. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that joke on camera. If you're a Resident Evil fan, I'm not going to make that joke on camera. Ha. Huh, pathetic Autobots. You can never defeat me with your little pea shooter. I have a target master. Oh yeah? I got a shotgun. What now, Cyclonus? Or, you can flip these down and uh, make it into a, like a machine gun. But I kind of like it in the shotgun configuration. So yeah. And also this back kibble, um, you can just do whatever the hell you want with them. You can flip them up, flip them like that, like a winged mode thing. Flip them up like this, like the bumblebee. And uh, yeah. Um, also, I forgot to compare them in vehicle mode, but you know. Uh, you don't really need a size comparison, it's just like a standard vehicle mode. Much bigger than the print figures. 
Anyway, to compare them in robot mode, we'll bring in the Dark of the Moon side swipe. Oh. Stand! Stand! You can see uh, they're about the same size. Dark of the Moon is a bit shorter. But all around, this is a cool figure. Um, articulation, heads on a ball joint, so you can get a really nice range of motion. Shoulders are on ball joints, they could flip around. They have this hinge here, but that really serves no purpose. Uh, a bit of a bicep swivel, but he doesn't need it because he has the ball joints. Um, his elbows can bend, his hands can bend. Hmm, weird. His hips are a bit hindered, but... Uh, um, his knees can probably only do like about that much of a knee bend and then this weird joint um so yeah not a whole lot of articulation but still he's a pretty cool figure and I definitely recommend him just for that one pose anyway this has been Sideswap Cool Viz and I am signing out